Hello and welcome to this video that will show you how to use Windows Notepad on the computer. Now Windows Notepad is an extremely useful program to be able to use. I've been using it for over 40 years now and I feel that I'm qualified to be able to teach you how to use it. There are other options very similar to Windows Notepad that you can use, such as a physical notepad, but then you have to get a pen for it. And it's, it's just effort because you have to write it down as well. So I prefer to use the Windows version. So now we can begin using the Windows Notepad program. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you have a computer. Make sure that the version of Windows that you're running is Windows Vista or newer. Preferably Windows Vista because that's by far the best of the Windows. Once you've turned on your computer, you should see this screen with little mouse icon in the top left corner of the screen. Now, with the mouse, you'll need to drag it all the way down, as far as it will go, to the search button. And you click on search, and then you type in notepad. And then on the keyboard, you press the enter key like that, and you'll see that the Notepad program has loaded. If you've tried to open your Notepad program already and it's not working, then I would recommend using this instead. For those of you that have managed to open your Notepad program, we can move on to using the Notepad program. Here you can see it says Untitled Notepad, and there's loads of different options available to you. You've got a file, you've got an edit, You've got a view, and if you look all the way to the right hand side, you'll see like a minus sign, a square, and an X, and some sort of set or settings it told me that for me, so I didn't need to know, didn't have to learn what that was, it just told me. What else do we have? At the bottom here, we have UTF 8, we have a Windows CRLF and we have 100%. And if you look to the left here as well, we have a line one, column one. That must be the version of Notepad that we're running at the moment. So in order to actually use the Notepad program, what you'll need to do is to click on a screen just like this, and you'll see this line will flash on and off. And from there, you can just type stuff. So you, so you can type, Hello, if you want to. You can delete that as well. See, with the notepad, it's a lot harder to delete things. You have to like erase it physically. It's a lot of effort. But with this, you can just press the backspace on the keyboard and it automatically deletes what you've written. I'll prove it to you because I'll just type this. And now if I press backspace, it's gone. So, so it's a great program, this. Now it's not just letters that you can type on the Notepad program. You can also type in numbers. Just press a number. It's a five, just typed. Got a one. What else have we got? We've got a seven as well. So it's very useful if you're an accountant this program is very, very good for that. So we've just gone through the basics of the Notepad program. I'll just show you some more advanced techniques that you can use yourself. What you'll want to do is to go to File, and then you can, you can press New, and it says, do you want to save changes to Untitled? And you can say, Cancel. That didn't work. Okay, so what you want to do is go back to File, and then you press New again. And then, do you want to save changes? Uh, this time just say, don't save. And you can see that it's, it's opened a new Notepad program. So, let's say that you've typed, typed in everything that you want to in the first Notepad program, and 
you can't type anything more in that because it's taken up too much space, then just open up a new notepad program and then you'll have as much space to type as you want. The next thing to show you is if you click on file and then you go to exit, it closes the program. But we don't want to close the program because there's a bit more to show you. So now we have to load it back up again. So you just go back to search and you type in note add press enter it's loaded back up again so from here you'll need to go to file and then page setup and then you can choose whether the size is a4 a3 b4 b5 executive so if we click on executive then it does something to the paper and then you press OK it really hasn't done anything so not all the options work with this program so it's just finding what works for you so we've, I think we've used the file button enough so let's move on to the edit button so here we can click go to and then we can go to different line numbers. So let's go to line five, four, nine, eight, and press go to. Go to line. The line number is beyond the total number of lines. So it gives you useful text like that. So from here, you just press OK. And then you, you type in a different number. Just type in six, two, five, go to, and it, it tells you the, the text again as well. So again, you can just press OK. And then you just press cancel because we're bored of that one. So from there, you go to edit and then you, ooh, you go to time date. And here it set, shows the time and the date. So this button actually works. It's a really good feature. Uh, probably my favorite feature of the Notepad program. So you can see it's the 1807 and the 1512 2022. It's good. Now the final technique that I'm going to teach you today is here. If you click on view, then you can go to zoom and then you can go to zoom in and then if you go to view and then you go to zoom and then you go to zoom in you can see the text is getting bigger it's almost as though it's zooming in so we'll do it one more time just to show you the power of the zoom in we'll just press that again see the text is even bigger now so it's almost taking up a, a bit of the screen so that's a very good feature. And there is another useful feature in the view, and that is the uh, this the word wrap. So if you click word wrap, that doesn't do anything. Maybe you need to highlight it, and then you click view, and then word wrap. Oh, there is a tick next to it. So you do get a tick out of it. And there's a tick on status bar as well. So that's also a feature. So there's lots of features within this notepad. And there's thousands of more techniques that I can show you in the notepad. But I don't want to overload you with knowledge. So I've just showed you just a brief insight into the notepad program. And that completes the tutorial on how to use the notepad Windows program. If you would like a more advanced Windows Notepad tutorial, then I would recommend suggesting it in the comments section and it will be picked up by myself and I will decide whether I'll make another one or not. But learn from this tutorial first. I would recommend doing that before doing more advanced things. So I'm going to go now and continue using this Notepad program and I'll catch you all later. See you all another time.
So what else can we do? Oh, we can also type this as well. Just type this. Yeah, that's, that's something we can do. Yeah. Oh, you're still here. That's a strange coincidence that I typed this. <laughs> 